realistically, didn't I tell you all a year ago that I really wanted a Tom Riddle Funko Pop? Didn't I? You were beautiful. Future. Whatever. My regular Niffler. Hello beautiful people, how's it going? I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be unboxing the new Target exclusive Harry Potter Funko Pops from the fifth wave of the Harry Potter Funko Pop line. Let's just get over introductions. You guys know how excited I am over this. Funko announced last month that the new wave of Harry Potter Pops has arrived and they were correct. And of course with every wave you get a couple of exclusives set to a specific store that some of us have to buy online for double the price. But of course we do willingly because we love and cherish Harry Potter. If you guys haven't already known Notice this wave is Chamber of Secrets theme, so we get a lot of characters from Herbology, Gilderoy Lockhart, Nearly Headless Nick, and Tom Riddle and the Basilisk. The Harry Potter community has been waiting for a Tom Riddle pop ever since the Chamber of Secrets came out. Back in 2002, when people didn't even know what Funko was, people were all like, hey, if we ever were to get bobbleheads, we would clearly, clearly, clearly want a Tom Riddle bobblehead. And six. 16 years later, we finally got our Tom Riddle Funko Pop and we got the Basilisk to go with it. I mean, you guys know how much I love Harry Potter magical creatures and the more we get of these in Funko Pop form, the more I will buy. And even though I would buy every single Harry Potter Funko Pop that they release, which is clearly evident because of my collection, I just, I just would buy these happily, er, happier. Wow, my English is great today. And of course, this is part two of my Harry Potter Wave 5 Funko Pop haul. If you didn't see part one, I unboxed a 10-inch Dobby the House Elf, which is insane. But you guys can check that out if you want to. And without further ado, let's begin this unboxing. The first pop I wanted to look at is Funko Pop number 60, Tom Riddle in sepia form. This is the Target exclusive. And this, of course, is Tom Riddle in a grayed out like shade of color. The original is actually him in his regular color and that you can get from any store. And of course, this being a Target exclusive, he has to have something different about him. Personally, since the regular and the exclusive are both under the same number, I prefer to get this one and I will not be getting the regular Tom Riddle because I do feel like Tom Riddle is a ghost and so he should look a bit different to the other Hogwarts students in the collection. Otherwise, it would just look weird. But of course, that's your decision and uh, you can get both if you'd like, but I'm trying, trying a little bit to just stay normal and sane, but okay. Because you guys all know how hard it is to collect every single Harry Potter Funko Pop. I mean, there's, there's 64 of them now and I have around like 59. We're almost there. I do think it's amazing how detailed this guy is, especially since he is literally black and white. I mean, he's grayed out. And of course, for those of you who've seen Chamber of Secrets, which you obviously clearly have, you would know that this is the form that he took in most of the movie. I'm almost sure that even when he came back in the end of the movie to, you know, release the Basilisk, he was grayed out. And so I'm very satisfied that they stuck with that and at least gave us a form that we could then add to our collection. In terms of height, he is the same height as Harry, as the actual Harry Funko Pop. I mean, he is the size of a regular Funko Pop. I'm just, I'm just a bit jet lagged from the whole 10 inch Dobby kind of situation. <laughs> if I am being completely honest, this was not a Funko Pop that I was very excited for, mainly because there were others that I was so over the moon about, especially in this wave, like Gilderoy Lockhart, Nearly Headless Nick, and Moaning Myrtle. But I definitely am happy that this guy is getting some representation because Voldemort in general and Tom Riddle never got the attention that they deserved in the Harry Potter films, especially in Half-Blood Prince when he was completely sidetracked so we could focus on the relationship between Harry and Ginny because that's important. And Funko being the geniuses they are wanted to give us the correct representation that we deserved and so this is Tom Riddle in sepia form. I would say I do prefer this over the regular. If I were you, I would probably get this even though it might cost you like an extra ten dollars but i do prefer this and if i did have to pick one i would have to go for this one also i really love how his hair is very distinguishable i think that's a detail that i really wanted to point out and a good thing about this pop is that he goes hand in hand with the target six inch exclusive of the basilisk look at this guy the only other six inch pop that we've gotten from the harry potter wave is Hagrid and that's because Hagrid is a giant and so they are sticking with life-size formats that would fit in the Funko scale But this guy is shocking. I mean he looks big even for the box And so I'm really excited to open this guy up and see how he looks like and of course on the back here You get a closer look of the new Funko Pops that we're gonna be getting and that I will be making videos on very soon All right Let's do this. Oh Okay, okay. No, this guy is really big 
This is the way to open it. Oh god, he looks freaky. Okay, this guy could probably crack open your bookshelf. He is really heavy. Funko never fails to amaze me. Before I do put it next to Tom Riddle for you guys to see, I will say that this is just shockingly horrendous. There are so many intricate details on this guy. You can actually see the color of his tongue underneath his mouth just because of how big he is. You can clearly tell that Funko had a wider scale to just really show off their detailing and everything. You can really tell that Funko had space to show off all of their amazing detailing. There are even scales on the back of him. I mean, they just don't stop, do they? I mean, if you want to display him from the back, you can do that. I don't know why you would want to, but hey, it's rare that you see Funko actually putting huge amounts of effort into their pops, but this one, I mean, this is definitely worth the price we paid. If you guys don't already know, this pop was actually a concept that was released a couple of years back that they never wanted to release and back then it was a different shade of green and I just want to say that this shade of green works a lot better with the basilisk that was shown in the film. But since we're on the topic of Funko releasing snakes, when are we going to get a Nagini Funko Pop? And if we do, is he going to be the same size as this? Because that wouldn't make any sense. In fact, Nagini should have to be really really small when you think about it. And I don't know if that would look good. It's very complicated. I think it's really interesting that Funko decided to give him golden eyes to represent the eyes that obviously paralyze you once you look at them. What's great about Funko Harry Potter is that you feel that they're actually made by real fans who understand the content. Like I said with the Tom Riddle pop, there was a necessity to get him. And side by side, these pops recreate one of the most traumatizing scenes I've ever seen in my whole childhood. And I know I say this with most of the Harry Potter Funko pops that I unbox, but I honestly will tell you the truth. I love these new pops, and they might be, might be, maybe, some of my favorites, but we don't know yet. They have to grow on me, they have to be in my display for a while for me to really, really, really understand and appreciate the beauty that is Tom Riddle and the Basilisk from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Wow! And of course, if you guys would like to help me decide where to display these Funko Pops, you can just go and check out my bookshelf tour that I did recently, and then comment where you think these guys could go, because... We're running out of space. And there you have it guys, that was my video and unboxing of the new Target exclusives Harry Potter Funko Pops of Tom Riddle and the Basilisk. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like and a comment down below and subscribe to my channel to see a lot more Harry Potter content, which includes the rest of the Wave 5 of Harry Potter Funko Pops, including the SDCC exclusives, so you should probably watch out for that. Bye guys!